Hey, good morning guys. <laughs> Today I'm exploring and I am over in the state of New York. I am at the Neversink River Gorge. Um, it's a tailwater fishery coming out of the Neversink Reservoir. Um, I'm close to the town of Mont Monticello and um, Basically, it took me about three hours to get here. It seems like every place I go, whether I go to Central PA, go up to the Upper Delaware, or here, it's I give myself a three-hour driving limit. But eh, that's what it is, just to get the quality fish, and that's what it is. Um, I have a New York fishing license uh, from uh, last year when I went up to the uh, West Branch. And then the one good thing about the New York license, it's good from the date you purchase it, one full year, not just the calendar year. So that's cool um, I'll show you where I'm at this is the never sink never sink river unique area okay I came out uh, got onto route 17 route, New York route 17 got off at the um, <clears throat> um, Rock Hill Woodbridge exit and then you get on Katrina Falls Road and it dead ends to this parking lot here. Uh, when you get to this parking lot, they do have a map here of, um, this is the Catskill region. And um, basically I'm gonna come down here and hike in. It looks like it's a good mile hike in to get to the river. And um, this actually is a follow-up video to Wooly Bug's video that he did on the um, uh, Never Sink. Um, excellent video. Uh, go and check out his website. He has a bunch of real good videos on his website. They're pretty much all um, fly fishing videos. I mean, very similar to mine. And, um, but he has some great videos. Go to his site, subscribe. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy them also. Um, but it was very good video he had up and um it caught my interest wild brown trout um decent size um looked like great pocket water at least the section that he fished i'm i guess i'll probably hit that too because i'm he probably took the same path that i'm going to take and uh, so i just hope i do his video justice because he did a great video and hope i can follow up with another one okay so <clears throat> um it is 33 degrees out. I wasn't ready for that, but I do have a good thick hoodie that I'm going to put on. And, um, you know, i got to get ready here, get all my stuff set up. I'm not even going to rig my rod up because I don't know what to expect when I get out there. I know when he did his videos, there was caddises coming off. And I'm sure there's probably caddis going to be coming off today, too. But you never know what kind of mayfly might come off, too. So, um, so I'll wait till I get down to the river um, after I hike in and see what's happening and then I'll rig up okay so just hang with me guys and uh, when I uh, get down to the river I'll turn the camera back on and we'll get started okay thanks a lot bye okay guys we're here um, wasn't that long of a hike I don't think it was a mile but actually gorgeous looking pocket water I mean just like Mike's video um, I'm just assuming he was probably in the, the same area. Hiking down the trail, there was one point where there was a Y in the trail. And I kind of was looking for Dorothy Scarecrow <laughs> to tell me which way to go, left or right. I actually took the left path. It didn't seem, it went down and it went back up. So I turned around and came back the right side and um, brought me to here. So... <laughs> But um, gorgeous, not that big. Um, as, for, as far as the tailwater, usually tailwater fisheries are kind of wide. And uh, this looks more just like a regular freestone stream. Um, kind of looks a little tannic stained, a little clear, but you know, still has that tannic stain to it, uh, which I fished up in the Catskills before and a lot of their rivers kind of have that appearance. So <clears throat> let me get rigged up here. There's, don't see any bug activity on the water like I said it's it's only like 33 degrees so um, got all day can fish until dark if I want but um so just hang with me when I uh, get all set up I'll come back and show you my first couple casts okay it looks like a fairly safe uh, wading water so um, 
hopefully it is not that slippery i got my cleats on so okay thanks guys hold on we'll, we'll be we'll be back okay guys <laughs> a little bit more trickier than waiting than what i thought so i'm gonna start at the edge first instead of trying to go out towards the middle a couple nice holes out there but <laughs> i'll slowly work my way out there um let me show you what i'm using i am not using a cider today. I, pr I might try it later on. Just right now, the low light conditions is creating such a glare. Um, I didn't... I want to use the, the uh, airflow indicator. Um, I'll just have a much better time seeing that. Um, and this Nymphen rig is the rig that my uh, guide up on the little J, Eric Stroop, showed me. And it's a very popular rig, but I just... I'm not a big fan of droppers, but I am now. <laughs> Okay, I'm using 4X. 4X off my tipping ring. Okay, I have a 3X. I use my, um, um, oh, the, um, uh, furlong cutthroat furled leaders. Okay, and I got my thingamabobber up here. Then probably like 18, 20 inches of 3X. Then about 3 foot of 4x to which I tie instead of tying I don't like tying blood knots but I tie a double a double uh, loop surgeon I mean a, a double knot a, a loop knot a double loop knot okay which still sends it out at a 90 degree angle as you guys can see here it's a 90 degree angle but you only use about a four to five inch tag that's it of 4x and the, the stiffer 4x does not tangle um, as much as if you went smaller diameter so then I got three little split shots and then I have a uh, uh, it's not a dark hairs it is this is more of a um, um, sulfur nymph lively legs okay and then I have about 13 14 inches of 5x to my GSS emerger uh, that's that Christmas tree like ornament emerger okay um, I fell in love with that fly these past couple weeks just because the caddis activity picked up and what a killer caddis pattern um, I didn't tell you my my dropper fly is a hair's ear soft tackle okay that's a hair's ear soft tackle and um, I was using that this past week on the tully and just absolutely killed on both of those flies the hair's ear soft tackle and um, the GSS emerger soft tackle and they're soft tackle flies what's so neat about them they have so much movement and um, the movement, the soft tackle, whether you're using partridge or whatever, it just gives it, um, makes it almost look like a shuck and legs and wings all at the same time. So uh, if you guys aren't familiar with soft tackles, uh, wet flies, try them. They're very, very, very good, especially for caddis. Um, so we're gonna throw in the first couple casts here and um, it looks fairly shallow right here. I want to get out. There's a, uh, a main current here. We'll get out in this main current. Okay. I got my first fish on Never Sink. <laughs> and I got it on a mop fly. And that's something. I had a big hit on a streamer and he broke my line. But wow, this is a nice size fish. Nice size fish. How about that? Bring him over here. Oh! Wow, wee! That's a big fish! That's a good 15 to 16 inch brownie. Wow, wait. Well, a good 15, but why that? Oh, he is. Woo woo! Nice fish. 
<laughs> or on what fly? <laughs> I was getting desperate. Been here about an hour and a half. Besides that bite on the str uh, streamer, I hadn't got a single hit. So, I <laughs> figure, let me try attractors. So I put the attractor on and look at that. Okay, we'll be back. Get another. Here on the different mop fly. Wow, I can't believe this mop fly is working. Another nice one. Seriously nice one. Wow, we. Think I'm. Thank God I'm using a uh, 4x. This fish up here. Where's he at? There he is. Nice, nice fish. Get him up here. Come on, come on. Ah. Look at that. I mean, eh, good 14, maybe 15 inches, but fat. Wow, tractor pattern's working. What was that? Nice. Well, maybe the water's warming up a smidge or just the sun's coming up now and it's 10 o'clock and the sun's just getting down into this gorge area. So hopefully when it hits the water more, it'll these fish will get a little bit more active. The water temperature, I think they said was only around <laughs> 50 degrees maybe at the most, 48 to 50 degrees. So that is, that is still kind of chilly. So. Let's get out there, try to get another one. Shallower risk, but another night. I had one on just before this. Looked like about a 12, 13 incher. And next cast later, next cast, right next cast, I got this one. And this is back, I'm just switching back between the two different mop flies. A chartreuse and then a gray. That's all I'm doing, switching back and forth. This is a nice one. Good. There we go. He was at least 12, maybe went 13 inches. Wow, and there's, like I said, just switching back. Somebody must have been bored down here to pile these rocks in a nice neat pile. <laughs> but it looks kind of neat, just out of nowhere. <laughs> but you guys get a kick out of that. <laughs> I did. Yeah, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little one, nine, ten. This one. <laughs> Probably some little kids. But it looks neat. They got them balanced pretty good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got my beeps turned down. I gotta fix that. If I can hear my beeps. So there's a nice fish here. Got this on the. Uh, the mop fly again. Chartreuse one. Nice brownie. Hey. Nice, nice fat fish here. This one's a good 13, 14 inches. Oh. Huh. Gorgeous. Fat fish, man, got shoulders. Even though they're, you know, not that long, but man, these fish here got some shoulders. Let's try to keep it on. See if I can get one on film for you.
I haven't really had much luck in the shallows, just in the holes. Kind of not my usual for fishing. I like fishing the shallows. It just hasn't been producing for me today. been hours oh just had that little dinker on <laughs> a little six inch dinker <laughs> oh well man it's been tough it's been tough no bugs coming off occasional caddis here and there um so far like i said i landed four well besides that little one right there and um uh three other ones got off and that's it i mean super super this is the absolute most dangerous river that i have ever waded and i thought looking at it <laughs> from the bird's eye view on top of the cliff when i was coming down to it this morning that ah, doesn't look that bad <laughs> oh boy I was that a surprise super dangerous you got like one spot looks like it's a foot deep and right on the other side of the rock it's three foot deep and um just all different size rocks it's man if any of you guys come out here bring a waiting staff oh my god i wish i would have brought one um so um i'm still hoping it's close to three o'clock and you know sometimes there's evening caddis hatches that come off so uh keeping my fingers crossed and um i don't want to call it quits yet but uh um you know, I'm just being hopeful and being patient. So, okay, we'll be back. Hey guys, I'm up here walking around the river. I got a big cliff here I got to walk around. And I uh, found this landmark. And um, I don't know how well I can pick it up on the camera. But it says an F 1939. Um, ah, looks like two X's, and on this side, where it says here, T-O-W-N, Town Line, so F, 1939, Town Line, two X's, and then, go around here, has N39, which is I'm assuming North 39. I don't know if these are like coordinates for like longitude, latitude, stuff like that. I don't know. N39 30W. So I'm thinking North 39, 30 West, town line, some kind of landmark. And then on top of here, it must have had a penny. Somebody must have dug it out or a nickel or something because there's this, there's this, um, piece of cement on top of here with a circle impression like there was a coin on there so shame if somebody took that off of there but isn't that interesting just out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> well it's kind of neat okay let's get back to fishing hey guys I just put on a soft tackle and did a drift through here and this guy hit on the soft tackle this one here. There we go. This one. Got 12 inches. Nice. Good. Very good, very good. Okay. I'm sure I'll show you a soft tackle. Got a shuck on it, olive, olive thread body. 
A little dubbing thorax and some uh, partridge around it. So, wow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're on to something. But actually, I'm seeing some caddis coming off. Not much, just a few, but enough to make me want to put a, um, you know, a soft hackle caddis emerger on, and it worked. So, um, let's keep going. Maybe it's the beginning of something. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you're just here now, I just turned the camera on. <laughs> I thought I had the camera on. I turned it off. Oh my gosh. Uh, I just caught a gorgeous brook trout. And I thought I had the camera on the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. Gorgeous brook trout, about 11, 12 inches. I caught him on the Royal Coachman wet. And then I, that's my point fly, and then I'm just using two, and I'm using my uh, soft tackle uh, caddis emerger. Jeez, oh man, I can't believe I had that camera off. Ugh. But at the end of the drift, he hit at the very end, real nice brookie. So, sorry guys. Oh my gosh. But believe me, he was nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> Guys, I want to try to get something on film for you. Here's a nice another run that I got here. Um, so, <sighs> nice run. More bugs coming. Some bigger mayflies. Kind of look like Quill Gordons. There's like two different kind of caddises, real small one, about a size 20, then one's a little bit bigger, about a 16, and then uh, there's some blue winged olives, or quill gorns or something like that coming off, I don't know. It's not really olive, it's more gray, and, um, and then there's a bigger mayfly, a good size 14, uh, some of them coming off. I didn't catch one, but I'm just thinking it might be a Quilgorn. And then I actually did see a yellow Sally. <laughs> a couple bright yellow stoneflies. Uh, see if I can get a little bit closer so I don't have to do so much long distance. Boy, these rocks are treacherous. Nice drift. Nice drift. Not that many snags. Very few snags. The only snags I really got not, were really not on rocks. They were on branches or twigs that were caught around the rocks. So. Okay, well, we'll be back. Okay, guys. <laughs> I saw one fish rise out here. Big splashy rise. Probably for a caddis. I put a little tan elk hair on. Size 18. Yeah, 18. Um, give it a shot. <laughs> if it doesn't work, maybe I'll put on an Adams. A big, because I tell you, there's that big mayfly flying around. Like, right there flying right over top of his head that's at least a 14 I have Lance landing on the water too Woo. maybe I should have tried that first but we'll try let's see what happens here what a I took the caddis <laughs> I turned the camera off took like three or four more casts and he came up and smacked the caddis just had to present it the right way with the right drift. Not a big one. But got him on top. On the elk hair.
Or who's slow with that thing? Uh, a ten and a half, eleven inches. Okay. Hey guys, anybody lose a hat? <laughs> oh my gosh! Been in here a while. Somebody's hat. <laughs> Pretty cool. Must have blew off his head. Let's see what's got on it. Hey, it's got caddis on it. Small caddis. Small caddis. So I'm gonna put it on this rock. <laughs> I should draw a face on the rock. Maybe. <laughs> Look at that. I'll be like Tom Hanks. Wilson! <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> guys, <laughs> this is the furthest I'm getting away from the path that I came in on. I'm about a half a mile downstream. <laughs> and I came here because I was way up there, but I saw this little flat area. There has got to be some fish sometime this evening rising in this flat area. I hope. Cause man, I trucked my butt down here and crossing the, this dangerous river back and forth three or four times. And and the the, the dry land isn't much better. So uh, <laughs> I hope it pays off. But um, I'm gonna show you my first couple casts in here just to start out. But I'm hoping to see some rising fish. I'll wait it out even if I have to sit around or just nymph for an hour. And then if not, I'm gonna bug out of here because I gave it a fair shot today. I don't know, I caught about, I think I ended up so far with about eight fish landed. I don't know if I got that brookie on film yet. I have to wait till I get home and load it on the computer. Um, so, uh, boy, I hope I did. That thing was gorgeous. So, I'll just show you my first couple drifts in here. And, um... I tried the first seam. Let's try the second one. Uh, I'm gonna get up against this rock so I can lean on it. And this is dangerous water, man. Dangerous, dangerous water. Whew, I can rest a little bit. Okay. Hit, but I'm set off. One more. I'll try one more. Out further. That's it. Out there. It's a nice, darker, deeper water. Actually, in the beginning of the day, I was getting them into deeper runs. Then, come afternoon, evening, or after—I don't think it's evening yet—but I was picking them up in the in the rifts. There's still a fair amount of insect activity. A little smorgasbord. But other than that one rising fish that I caught, I haven't seen anything rise. Oh, look at that, right in front of us. <laughs> Little one about 10 inches. <laughs> Man, he came clear out of the water. 
<laughs> I guess he just wanted to prove me wrong. <laughs> he had to hear me. That fish had to hear what I said. And he probably said, I'll show you a rising fish. Came up and did a somersault. <laughs> Should have gave him a score for that. Uh, that was, it was probably about an eight. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be back. Hey guys, a little inker dinker here. It looks like it's a brookie. It is a brookie. Look at that. Nice brook trout. Oh, I hope I got my other one on the film. This guy's. He took the soft tackle. Had a submerger. Come on, I can't get my finger in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Nice. Nice deep riff here. Or run, I should say. Picked up this boy. A nice one. The 12 incher. And he took. He took the Royal Coachman. He took the Royal Coachman. Okay. Oh, there we go. 